Hello. I have just took delivery of this gorgeous little lot from Hey Little Magpie. Sarah has caved <laughs> to my neediness. Now, um, I was talking to Sarah from Hey Little Magpie at the crop the other week and um, we were talking about the videos I've done where I've got completely obsessed recently with wax seals. So she said that she's thinking of getting some in and I went home that evening and ordered some to stock in Hey Little Magpie. Um, I got a message from Monday going, some of it's arrived. Um, this is what she's got in so far. So these five sets of wax beads and the two wax heads. She has got like furnace spoons, handles, um, you know, the more seals, you know, more beads. She's got lots more on order. Uh, it's just this is what's arrived first. It's these two wax heads. So this is a map, and then we've got the compass. So they're fab, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with them. And then these sets, so this is I'm blushing with these gorgeous pinks and buffs and gold colors in there, some white as well. This one is land and sea with the greens and the blues. This is pastel pride, so you've got a rainbow of pastel colours. I oh, might need to rearrange that and put them in rainbow. Um, you've got, she's also got in fruit salad. And then finally, purple rain. And purple is my absolute favourite colour. So, yeah, really happy with that. Um, so these are beautiful, love them. And these wax heads, seal heads are gorgeous too. So, I am going to scrap with where to next. And I'm thinking I am going to do the compass in one of these. And then in, um, I'm blushing. And then land and sea will do the globe in one of these or two of these or maybe mar marble colours. She's use the handles I've got already. Now, top tips I've picked up in watching people on YouTube play with their waxes. As I mentioned it before, my last wax video, trim the wick on your tea light because it doesn't need to be as long as they are when they when you get them because you end up with them touching the spoon and getting loads of soot on the spoon. So trim the wick. And then the other thing I've seen it's people using a bowl of ice bag, so putting a bag of ice to sit the seals on to keep them cool between images. Now I've just had a delivery of chilled food. This has been sat on my desk for a little bit whilst I've been charging this camera battery. Really needs to buy a spare back camera battery. But that'll keep keep them nice and cool for getting a quick impression. Um it also if you're doing it's more important if you're doing like lots, if you're doing kind of like a production line and keeping them cool so you can keep going. So compass, I'm thinking we'll do in this color. So we are going to start with five. These seals are, I think they're an inch. Let me just double check. They are, yeah, one centimeter, two and a half, one inch, two, um, two and a half centimeters. I'm going to have a bit of tissue on the desk because I'm going to need to block them off because they're getting wet. You know what I'm going to do? The tissue on the bag and then that's going to block the wetness from the condensation from that melting there we go right so we've got that bronzy color in there for doing the compass and then oh not that one I'm going to do let's have a look what should we do the globe in i'm liking this green uh let's do three no we'll do two of the green we're not going to mix it so we are they are going to be in the spoon and we're not going to mix the spoon now we need five and I suppose we are the blue planet, so we're gonna go more blue than green and see how that goes. Right, so let's have a look at this one going. Whoa, throw stuff on there. Then. Next top tip that I've picked up, don't overheat your wax. If you overheat your wax, you end up with bubbles and bubbles will ruin your finished stamped image. Oh, Sarah, I absolutely love, love these beads. Oh, look at that. Can you see the shimmer on that? Oh. Let's see if I can catch that in the light. Probably be better and safer if I do that. <laughs> Show you on the actual finished wax um, seal. 
Okay, so next top tip that I've picked up from watching videos. Just dump it all in the middle and it'll make it round itself. And then, so you don't end up with these stringy bits that are dripping down, which you can't see because of where the camera is. Rotate the spoon. So instead of it dripping down the side of the spoon, it goes back into the spoon whilst you're rotating it. Oh, I'm put that there. Let's put that there. You're then going to put your seal in the middle of the wax and let gravity do its thing. We're going to let that melt. What I am going to do, I'm going to do another one of these, but we're going to use, again, more than one colour. Do this darker one. Now, I've already got... You, you start off with five because you're going to end up with residue left in your spoon. And then when you're putting your next, for your next seal, you just need the four. If you're doing a bigger seal, you're going to need more. Smaller seal, you're going to need less. Let's have a look at this. <gasps> oh, love it, love it, love it. <sighs> have we got that yet? Yeah. There we go. Can you see the shimmer on that? <gasps> oh, I love that. And then it just peels off. That's still a bit warm. Oh, but I love it. Look at the detail in that. Love that. Whilst that's melting, I'm just going to go and grab some bits for the next thing I want to play with. Okay, so we'll just grab some supplies that I want to do next. We are now going to do this world map one. And we've got two colours. I have left that melting a little bit too long, so ow. So we've got bubbles and we're going to leave that a sec to melt. Something else you can do with them is I've got, I don't know what type of pen this is, but it's a pen I've got from a, like it's a freebie from a calligraphy magazine. Colour over, this one's gold. It's like gold or white or, you know, paint pens. Silver, white, any colour. Not, this is just a pen I had in my stash. Came free ages ago from a calligraphy, calligraphy machine, machine, magazine. You can just pick up the detail. See people use eyeshadow, use waxes. Oh, look at that. Let's Where's me thing gone? There we go. Oh no, it's not cool yet. See it's not coming off, it's not cool yet. There we go. That's fab. Oh I love that. I love the two colours. Haha, <laughs> that's fab. And my idea, looking at doing layered embellishments and joining the bits together with some wax. I am going to put some adhesive on. I mean, at the end of the day, you can just, you don't have to like do it like this. You can, I can just use a bit of wet glue or double something double-sided that's strong and stick that on. Uh, what you can also do my threads gone. What you can also do, good old messy thread that we all love. Oh, that's starting to smell done. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have coloured, so it's a Hey Little Magpie cut apart label. I maybe wouldn't have chosen that colour because it's already on the background. Now it is going to go a weird shape when you're doing it over something that's not flat. But also could go pretty shape. So that's all pulled over here because it's not flat. Also, <laughs> I haven't checked which way up this stamp is. So there clearly is a right way up and a wrong way up with this one because you've got north and south. And I will put north at the top. <gasps> oh, oh well, it's going that way. So as you can see, this isn't as thick on some parts of the background because, oops, because it's not gone on something flat. So if you don't mind something that's a bit more organic in shape, you can stamp it straight on. If you prefer it to be more organic in shape, you can stamp it separately and, and glue it on afterwards. Um, next top tip that I've learned, 
is something that's directional. Put a mark, so get a sharpie, some kind of permanent pen, and put a mark in the centre at the bottom so you know which way up. You've got, the di you've got the direction right, basically. But yeah, I love that. Making um, your handmade embellishments for your page, so doing your layers and sticking it together with the with the wax, or doing the wax ahead of time and sticking them down with some strong double-sided tape or with some wet adhesive. Um, Sarah, thank you for getting wax seals in. Love them, love what you have so far. Can't wait to see what you've got coming up. Thanks for watching, bye.